Al Jazeera's Hamdas Al Houth is monitoring developments from the Jordanian capital Amman because, reminder, the Israeli government has banned Al Jazeera from reporting inside Israel. So Hamda, you've attended many of these protests yourself. What is your takeaway after today? Well, this is certainly a shift in how Israelis are viewing their anger against Israel's government. Look, for months, we've been covering these demonstrations. We were previously on the ground listening to family members of captives expressing how tired they were of Netanyahu's inability to secure a deal. But now it's a little bit different. The tide has shifted, and that's because of the captives that were retrieved, their bodies rather, from southern Gaza over the weekend. Now, according to Israeli army intelligence, those captives were still alive just a few days before. And according to leaks within Israeli media and from Hamas officials, a lot of those captives were actually going to be on a list to be released within the first phase of a ceasefire deal that never happened. So the family members of captives are blaming Netanyahu directly for their death, saying that he is the reason why there hasn't been a deal. So there's been a lot of anger, and we've seen these demonstrations in unprecedented numbers, especially in Tel Aviv, around 300,000 people there on Sunday, half a million across the country that same night, and police for the first time using sun grenades to disperse the crowds, police mounted on horseback trampling demonstrators. And remember, there was also a labor strike called by the most powerful and largest labor union within Israel which was a rare move during wartime. So the tides are certainly shifting, but it's still unclear what kind of effect it's having on Netanyahu. Yeah, Hamda, in the face of that popular anger, the prime minister doubled down on keeping troops along the Gaza-Egypt border, the Philadelphia corridor. And that, as we know, is possibly the biggest impediment to getting a ceasefire deal done. Netanyahu claimed that Israel needs to stay there for security reasons, needs to keep troops along the corridor. But his former defense minister, not his a former defense minister, Benny Gantz, just said, actually, no, Israel doesn't need that for security purposes, very publicly. Tell us more. Well, that's right. Netanyahu doubling down in a press conference on Monday, saying that Israel's presence at the Philadelphia corridor to ensure there is no sort of weapons smuggling from Egypt is critical if there is a deal. But Benny Gantz, remember, a former member of the unity government, a former member of Israel's war cabinet that was dissolved after he decided to leave and step down because of disagreements with how Netanyahu was handling the war. So Benny Gantz is essentially saying that he's a former defense minister. He's a former military chief of staff. He knows how the army works. He knows what they need. And it's not a presence at the Philadelphia corridor. It's not an occupation there, that there could be other mechanisms in place to ensure that the weapons smuggling perhaps doesn't happen, but that troops on the ground are not needed. And this is very publicly from someone who has said that everything Netanyahu is saying up until this point is wrong and also a lie. Hamda Salhout reporting from Amman, Jordan. Thank you very much, Hamda. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.